Yo, what's up, y'all, and welcome back to the channel. I'm Josh, and this is Keep It Techie, where I help you learn Linux, level up your tech skills, and break into the tech field one step at a time. Now, today, we're going to do something I think a lot of y'all have been waiting on. I'm showing you how to set up a Next.js development environment from scratch, so you guys can start building your own site right at home. And this could be for your portfolio, a blog, or even a side project, whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to walk you through everything, the tools you need, how to get Next.js up and running, and even a little customization to get your creativity flowing. So if you've been thinking about building your own website, but don't know where to start, this video is for you. So let's get to it. All right. So real quick, before we dive in, let me tell you why I chose Next.js for this and why you might want to do the same. So check it out. For a couple of years, I was using Hugo and Hugo is a static site generator written in Go. And it's crazy fast. I won't lie, but I'm going to be real with you. For me personally, it became difficult to maintain over time. I mean, every little change meant digging into configuration files, tweaking themes, troubleshooting build issues. And I don't have time to fight my tools every time I want to update a blog post or switch up the layout. And that kind of stuff slows down your momentum, especially when you're trying to build consistently. So I went searching for something that could give me more flexibility. And that's when I found Next.js. Next is built on React. It lets you scale things up over time. It comes with a ton of features baked in like routing, SEO, dynamic content, and static generation. Best for it, it feels like it just gets out of your way and let you build. And I'm not trying to down Hugo. It's an awesome static site generator. But if it has been frustrating for you, trust me, I've been there. That's why this video might be your answer. What's up, y'all? If you've been watching my channel for a minute, you already know I stay talking about Linux. And if you're looking for a solid, reliable enterprise Linux distro, let me put you on to Rocky Linux. This is the go-to replacement for CentOS, and it's built for the community by the community. It's got everything you need for a stable and secure Linux experience, whether you're running servers, home labs, or enterprise workloads. And the best part is backed by CIQ, making sure it stays rock solid for the long haul. So if you're tired of these companies pulling a plug on your favorite distros, Rocky Linux is where you need to be. And I've covered Rocky Linux before, and trust me, it's worth checking out. So head over to rockylinux.org to learn more and get started. Now, let's break down the tools you'll need to get up and running. And as you can see, I'm on Next.js website. It's nextjs.org. This is where we're starting. This is the main framework that we'll use, and which includes Node.js as well as NPM. And I'll walk you guys through how to install install all of these but also another tool you want to check out is vs code or vs codium the open source version of this i'll just use vs code on my virtual machine just to show you guys that one but it really doesn't matter just whichever one you want to use and this will help you greatly in coding out your website what you'll see is very simple to do once we get started now let's switch over to my virtual machine so i can show you guys how to get started all right so let me walk you guys through setting up the environment and one of the first things you need to do is update your system so i'm using pop os for this demonstration and first thing you want to do is update your system so sudo apps updates I'm 100% sure this system doesn't need any updates because I updated before this video, but I want you guys to do this. I want to at least show it so you guys will do this before starting the install because you want to have your system up to date before you install any new packages like I always say in every video. But let's go to clear right fast and actually let me zoom in so you guys can see exactly what I'm typing in and let me the terminal a little bit bigger so you guys can keep up now if you're running ubuntu or any of the flavors of linux out there that are ubuntu based then you can install node.js and npm via the main repository because it's there but i recommend installing node using mvm which is the node version management it's cleaner and won't mess up your system packages so and let me quickly go back over to the website so i can show you what it gets mvm the installation process and all you have to do is go down. There is a script for it. And all you have to do is copy this right here. And this will get MVM installed, the latest version of it. Right now, the current version is 0 0.40.2. All you have to do is copy this link. You can use curl or you can use wgit and paste that into your terminal. And it will go through and install it for you. So let's go down and switch back over to my virtual machine and paste that in there. Boom. And 
press enter and so go down and get it installed on our system for us like i said and now let's go down and source our bash or c just to refresh everything and then now we could type nvm and then let's install the lts version of node so dash dash lts and press enter and this will get the latest version like i said it'll get the long-term supported release which is in my opinion what you want to install that way you don't run into many issues once you start building out your site and so now we're ready to start building and then the terminal or you could do it this way as well let's say you want to create a project let's create a new folder and let's call it websites or let's put my site you can name it whatever you want to and so let's hit create so we got our folder right there and so if we go into our folder right fast that we created this will be our project folder you want to go in there first but you want to run mpx and then create dash next dash apt at latest and then we can name it my sites press enter and it'll go through and ask you a couple questions like for instance the first question is it okay for you to proceed so type y press enter now it'll ask you would you like to use typescript i recommend you just select no for right now you can always go in and change some of this or would you like yes and let's put yes there tailwind yes definitely you want to use tailwind css and right here this will ask you if you want to create a source directory and this is up to you I usually go with yes to keep a clean structure and it's easier to understand where everything is. So let's put yes there. Now this next question is if you wanna use an app router or the typical page router. They recommend the app router. I'm gonna roll with no. And I know yes is the recommended for using that app router, but I'm gonna just stick with a page router. Like I said, I'm just showing this for people that are new with working with this. And so the page router is a whole lot easier. So let's press enter there. And then turbo pack i'm gonna select yes there and and then we're gonna go with no on the import alias and now it'll go through and set up your environment for you and so we're good as you can see it finished and i kind of skipped ahead but as you see it added 311 packages audited 312 packages in 52 seconds you can help with funding the project by typing npm fund that'll bring up more details but success we have created my site at home josh and then i created that folder or that project folder my website and then my site and you can check out the notices as well it'll notice you like there's a new major update available of npm by 11.2.0 they even tell you how to install it if you want to but i'm gonna leave it to where it is currently because that'll work perfectly for what we need now let me show you guys how to actually bring up the site right fast so we can start working on it and what you want to do is use the npm command to run the development environment so if we cd into my sites and press enter and then we can type npm and then run dev and press enter and this will bring up your site in a development environment you can see what happens when you try to connect to it and all of this stuff. and it also tells you how to connect to it and the default port is 3000 so we open up our browser and we go to the ip address of this computer that we have so it's 10 10 0 what is our ip address 138 so 138 and then port 3000 and press enter and you'll see it compiling over here on the left you'll see it compile and it says it actually grabbed the website and actually how long it took super cool right and now we have our site and there's links to everything from documentation you can actually deploy it this is some more documentation examples and then you go to nextjs.org but you pretty much have everything set up in order to start building now let's go down and flip things up and make it your own website and so let me show you guys how to open up that directory and start messing around with the files you can open up vs code however you want to but an easy way i've been doing it lately is just cd into that directory so i see my website and then my sites and all you have to do is type code and period press enter and it'll open up vs code for us into that project directory and this is my first time opening up vs code that's why it's popping up with all the pop-ups but yes i trust this author yeah this is my system and you can set up vs code however you want to in order to see all your code the best way possible you can go through and select i'm gonna leave it on dork which is cool but this is our site directory over here and that's why i open it up this way by just typing code and period and this will open up the current working directory in code now let me hit mark done here and let me show you guys how to start editing your site don't you remember when we did the install there was a sources directory that i told it to create we go into sources and you go into pages 
and you find your index.js, this is your home page. And so let's go down and open it up right fast so you guys can see. But this is the default next.js content. And let's go down and edit some of this HTML. What I'm going to do is I'm going to just remove from here just to clear up that main section and let's go on and put in something in here let's type a h1 and i'm just showing you guys this just a simple way of actually getting it set up so let's create an h1 and let's go on and type something in here right fast hey i'm josh welcome to my site and let's go on and do a p tag as well so let's go p tag and then i can put in here let's see i teach linux and help folks get into tech boom and we're good to go and let's go on and save this right fast and what you'll notice is it'll recompile the site for us hold on a second let's go up in here save you'll see it compile again and then you'll see a change of the site see boom there we go so we made some changes there down here is the footer you can modify this as well i just wanted to throw something in here so you guys can see a change on the fly but this is a simple way of modifying your site and setting it up however you want to and i know this is very simple i, I just did a h1 tag and a p tag but you can obviously add images in here all your html is fine and then you can also modify your classes up here if you want things to be justified or centered you can go through here and make changes as you see fit now let's say you want to add a new page so i'm gonna close this one right fast all you have to do is create a new file so let's see a new file and what we're going to name this is let's say you want to create an about page so about me page or something like that so i'm just naming it about.js press enter and you'll see it start compiling or recompiling again but just ignore it for right now let's go down and create this simple page right fast so let's export default function and then we want to name this a function about. And let's go down and put our open curly bracket. Let's enter, enter. Let's get back under here. And let's tap this out. One. And let's type return. Let's do another h tag. So h1. And then I'm going to just put about me. Just to make it simple. And let's go and save that right fast. And if we go ahead and go to the link up here at the top and put about. Press enter. That'll open up our about me page and you can style this however you want to. I know I'm doing this the simple way, but yeah, that's a simple way of creating a new page. And then you can go through and style it, make it look how you want to. And like I said earlier in the video, the routing is built in. So it's pretty much no extra steps. It's super clean and simple in order to build out your site. Now, let me give you guys a couple tips on how to keep your code, pretty much keep the whole project clean. Like for instance, one of the things you wanna do is implement Git. So let's open up another terminal right fast. I know I'm all over the place, but you definitely want to initiate Git in my opinion. And this will keep your project solid from day one. So let's go into our my site directory and let's just type initiates and press enter and this initiated a empty git repository for us now you want to add everything to that directory so we do is type git add and then we can do a period and this will specify the current location that we're in so let's press enter and that'll add that directory to it as long as you don't see any errors you should be good to go now what you want to do is do your initial commit so let's do git commit and then dash m and then we can put some notes in here let's just do initial commit and let's press enter and i always forget to do this so just give me one second you got to configure git so git config and then dash dash global user dot name and we have to put that in there so josh boom press enter and then what's the other one you have to put email as well put my email in there and let's just put josh at keep it techie.com press enter boom so we're good to go and now let's do our official commits again so sorry about that guys but yeah there we go so we got our initial commit and also one of the things you want to do is make sure you ignore certain folders in the directory like for instance got our node modules and our dot next directories under here so let's go back to vs code right fast and let's go into let's open up our get.ignore and I always forget it does this already when you set it up. We just wanted to make sure it was ignored as well as like our environment. Let's say we got credentials stored in that directory. You don't want that in Git as well. Like for instance, I use our API to grab my YouTube channel. And so I put credentials in a credentials file and you want to make sure you omit that. That way you don't accidentally put credentials in github especially if you're gonna sync this with github which is public or make a public repository and you accidentally have credentials out there 
And so we're good there. Now, let me give you a couple of tips in VS Code. So if we go under extensions, you can click in here. And one of the extensions I want you guys to install is the prettier extension, which is great. So if you hit install, that'll install it for you on your system. And then another one that has helped me a lot is the ES Lint extension, which integrates ES Lint JavaScript into VS Code. Just add those two to it. And those are beneficial for building out your site. And so that's pretty much it. That'll get you set up in order to start building out your site. Now, let me give you some real talk from my own journey. When I built keepitechie.com, I started off with Hugo. And again, no shade to Hugo, it's a solid tool, but for the way I wanted to grow and maintain my site, it just didn't fit anymore. And so this led me to look into something more modern and flexible. And that's how I landed on next.js. And today my site is running on a self-hosted server and I've got a Cloudflare tunnel exposing it to the web and it connects with all the other services I use. Like for instance, I use Ghost CMS, Nextcloud, and even my wiki and blog. And guess what? With Node.js, you can make updates faster, add new features easier and maintain it all with less headache. And so that's a big win for me. So if you've been feeling stuck or overwhelmed with your site setup, just know you're not alone. I'm always looking for new tools and features out there that can help me improve my process. Trust me, I went through it too. I found a solution that works for me. It may work for you, it may not, but this is an option for you. And I wanted to show this so you guys can do the same if you want to. All right, guys, so that's how you set up a full Next.js development environment and take the first steps towards building your own website. You got the tools, you know the structure, and now you got the confidence to make it happen. And if this video helped you, don't smash that like button, drop a comment, and let me know how your project's going. And if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I try to do something like this every week, breaking down tech in a way that's real, understandable, and useful. Also, check out keepitaker.com and see the final product of what we just talked about. And hit me up if you end up building your own version. I love to see it. And remember, you don't have to be a genius. You just got to be consistent, curious, and ready to put in the work. Until next time, stay safe, stay blessed, and of course, keep tech. Yo, what's up, y'all? Listen, if you've been sitting there thinking about making a move, let me tell you, tech is where it's at. I don't care where you're coming from, whether you've got a degree, a GED, or just pure hustle. There's room for you in this game. You see, tech is more than just keyboards and code. It's solving problems, creating opportunities, and building the future. You already have what it takes because tech doesn't care where you start. It cares where you're willing to go. You can teach yourself Linux, learn Python, break into cybersecurity, or even launch your own app. And the resources are out here for free. And yes, you heard me, free. Now, yeah, it's gonna take effort. You'll have to grind, but think about this. The time is gonna pass anyway. So why not invest it in a skill that'll change your life? I mean, tech doesn't just pay the bills. It opens doors to freedom, stability, and generational wealth. So stop doubting yourself, store small, stay consistent, and keep building. Because this isn't just a career, it's a movement. And guess what? You belong here. So let's get it. Because the future is yours to build. Keep it tech. Wow. <laughs>